today it's going to be all about the corner to corner crochet method and I'm going to show you how you can make a blanket out of a, a, um, your scrap yarn and uh, I just mixed different colors that were matching a little bit here so here I have blue, some light pink, gray and then beige, brown and also I added some blue here too it's not quite finished yet but I just have a little corner left here so you can use this method to make a, a blanket or a dishcloth or a washcloth so I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and tell me if you have made a corner to corner project before in the comments below so make a slip knot like this and then chain six one two three four five and six and then yarn over and do a double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook so one two three four here it is and then a double crochet in the next and a double crochet in the last last stitch and this is our first little square now chain six and then a double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook so one two three four and a double crochet in the next two chains now you have something that looks like this so just flip this part like this and then find here your space and do a slip stitch now chain three and then do three double crochets one two and three now we're going to chain six again two three four five and six and then a double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook so one and then in the next two and three and now flip and slip stitch and do three chains one two three and then three double crochets and now do a slip stitch chain three and then three double crochets and then three double crochets so this is how the beginning looks like and now we're gonna make our little piece a little bigger so chain six one two three four five six and then a double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook so one two three four one double crochet in the next and in the last now flip slip stitch two and three and then three double crochets one two and three now I'm going to show you how you can uh, change color so let me do one more one two and three and then three double crochets then stop here 
and grab your and grab your other color then yarn over with a new color the last pull through and then slip stitch in the next chain um, and then slip sti stitch in the next place and then three chains and then three double crochets and then three and now I'm going to show you how to do the decreases so I'm guessing you want to you want your uh, piece to be a little bigger than that so uh, but uh, when you have reached your desired uh, desired uh, size just chain three instead of six and then turn and then slip stitch like this and then chain three again and then three double crochets And then just continue like normal. Oops. You can choose if you want to do a decrease on this uh, side or if you want it to grow. So if you're going to do a decrease, just repeat what we did here. Just uh, chain three and then start a, start a new block here like this. One, two and three and slip stitch and then one, two and three and then start a new block. Then you get a little square. See like this, but if you want a rectangle, you're gonna continue to add blocks on this side. So three chains and then three double crochets, chain six. And a double crochet in the fourth ch chain from the hook. And then your double crochet here. Now slip stitch and then just continue. So one and two and three. Here is our decrease part. Slip stitch, chain three, then turn and then slip stitch and then work your way like normal one two and three you can also follow like a graph pattern and make an animal figure or something two, three, you can find lots of free graphs on the internet. 
Oops. And now I want to do a, I don't want to add anymore. I just want to do a decrease here. Chain three and then slip stitch. Now we are on the last block here and a little square is finished, no oh, sorry rectangle, <laughs> two and three. So this is so simple and it looks pretty as well. So this is what we have so far. If you like this video, please uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You can find more infos on this uh, corner to corner project on my blog. I'm going to leave a link in the descriptions below and I hope to see you soon again. Have a nice day. Goodbye.